I got called a hater this morning. And it was very interesting. It was over at Savage Finance. And I got called a hater because of my so-called research is misconstrued as hate. And um, I'm going to hit this person back because it was like, I am making these videos talking about how YouTubers are creating videos for views and not necessarily to help you. And it was like, they're just trying to be helpful. And I'm gonna hit this person up. I was like, how many YouTubers have helped you and put money in your pocket? Please name them. That's gonna be my follow-up response. But it got me to thinking, remember when the pandemic started Remember when I said that the free government money was going to be a problem? Remember when I said folks were going to clown? That has happened. It's to the point that some states have decided to end unemployment benefits so these lazy mofos will go back to work. I mean, it's, it's kind of funny when you think about it. That they're going to cut off unemployment benefits because these people will not go back to work. Now, this is part and parcel about what I'm about to talk about. Um, I've changed the name of the channel to The Money Lab, so we're gonna be conducting experiments about how to make money, real experiments, how to make real money. And once again, in reference to the video that I put up that people are smoking cigarettes, um, people don't care how they get money. If it is a scam, Bam Bam Kevo, Rich Wayne, these are known scammers. <clears throat> Doesn't matter if you have scammers giving you information on how to scam. If you can get that money, you cool with it. And a lot of this is rooted in laziness. I'm going to keep it a buck. I'm going to get some hate for that. But a lot of y'all are lazy. Just lazy. I can understand not knowing what to do and being frustrated. But the whole, like, with the unemployment, that whole thing. The folks are like, I ain't going to work if I can get some free money. And it, it gets into the deeper part of the... Um, socialist segment of America. We're very much in a socialist wave that is starting to sweep over America. And one of the reasons I get these comments is because I expose the truth. Like, I'm going to give you a breakdown. There's this girl. She has a channel. She has a very successful YouTube channel. She has a very successful TikTok channel. She has a very successful Instagram account. All of these are internet assets, right? And she put up a video and she comes across as so helpful. She said last month, she has a little accent, last month that I, I went to Pinterest and I put this up here and I made $4,000. It was so easy, you can do it. Now, at that point, she is 100% consciously lying to you. Consciously. She's not just, this isn't a little slip because I've watched this chick. If she puts up a video and it doesn't perform, she will take it down. So what she is doing is she's creating videos that she knows will get views, not necessarily help you get views because Here's the thing. I've been um, online, making money online between eBay, Amazon, like 20 years. And what it takes to make money online can be vastly different than what it takes to make money in real life. Vast, vastly different. And she is consciously lying to people. Remember what I said? She has a successful YouTube channel. She has a successful TikTok channel. She has a successful Instagram account. These are assets that you can go ahead and put an affiliate link under and get sales. I mean, that's kind of what I do. 
I use my YouTube channel to um, make sales. It's kind of like an inverse affiliate marketing deal. And she knows this because she has a drop shipping store. So she knows 100% that if her viewers do exactly what she's doing, they will not be successful. She knows this. She is consciously lying to people to get views. But when I come ahead and say, hey, this is an outright lie, that this person consciously did this. And see, that this is the thing. Someone will watch her video because, you know, she's blonde, she looks nice, she looks like your your like your 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 auntie or you know, not she's young, she's young. And they're like, oh, it's and she says these words, it's so easy. It's so easy. And I'm just sitting there and I'm listening to her and I'm like, why are you lying to people? To get views. To get views. And essentially, right now, I can tell you, if you go to Pinterest and you are rolling their affiliate marketing program and you have no place that has traffic to put your links, you will make no money. And many people who have listened to her because she's so nice that they don't come back and go, hey, I tried that and it didn't work. They don't do that. They don't do that because she's keeping the dream alive. What is the dream, you ask? The dream is I can do little or nothing and make a lot of money. That is the dream. I can do little or nothing and make a lot of money. And I'm just sitting there like, And this shows you how uneducated most people are. That you will sit there and watch your video and get gassed up on it. I'm gonna do a review. Me, Kevin made a video talking like how you can invest $100 a month and retire in seven years. I haven't watched it, but I know it's complete and utter BS. There's no way that you can do that. There is no way that you can do that. But once again, he did it to get views, not to be helpful. The only person he's trying to help is himself. And when I come up here and show you from a statistical, fact-based methodology review, I have people getting mad. You a hater, man. You just a hater. You just a hater. You just a hater, man. The reality is, I'm pissing on their dreams. That's the dream. Everyone wants to do little or nothing and make a lot of money. That is the dream. And most of the information I put out is contrary to that. I tell you, uh, you're going to have to work hard for three years before you know it really starts to manifest into what you want. I am telling you the truth. And when truth confl conflicts with fantasy because it's a lot of fantasy a lot of fantasy going on with people and how they look at life so much fantasy is involved in life and I'm going to hit this person up and I guarantee you he's not going to respond because there's not been one YouTuber who, if because essentially one of the things I've looked at with these side hustle videos, and these side hustle videos are very popular because people are looking for the unicorn, they're looking for that side hustle where they can do little or nothing and make a lot of money. And this is why they go from side hustle video to side hustle video are the best side hustles for 2021. These videos get massive views, but are they being really helpful? Are people taking action? Are people taking money or making money? I would say no, because I saw one video and I was just like, she put up Facebook, managing Facebook ads for people as a side hustle. I was like, 
Do you know what goes into creating a Facebook ad agency? That ain't no side hustle. That is a full-time endeavor. It takes a lot of work. It takes, first of all, you got to know how to do Facebook ads. That's the first thing. Then the second thing is you got to know how to get customers. Then you have to manage the relationships. So that is not even close to a side hustle. Then she said something else, which I found to be hilarious. She said a good side hustle and per pervade Watch YouTube videos on how to edit videos and then start mailing YouTubers to edit their videos, right? Now, that ain't gonna work. You wanna know why? Most YouTubers are very sensitive about their YouTube channel. Especially if they have a halfway successful channel, you think they're gonna let you just edit their videos? Because you email them? Many people who go out and get editing service look months for the right editor. That ain't gonna be an easy side hustle. It, it, and I'm just sitting there like, but once again, I am the hater because I am like, that's BS. That is BS. Facebook ads, YouTube being like, these are not quote side hustles. Let me tell you how you can be a YouTube editor. If you work for a YouTube editing company and you got clients and you quit that YouTube editing company and you have people who already know that you can edit their videos and you're like, hey, I no longer with the company. I can edit your videos for less than what you were paying the company. That's how you can be a video editor. One, you have an established relationship. Two, they know you. And three, you're cheaper. That, that will work. <clears throat> but you just... <clears throat> watching YouTube videos about video editing for a week and it, I, I'm just like that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna work and I see this helpful advice all over YouTube that is garbage that is just 100% garbage it ain't gonna work you're not gonna make any money but people love it because it keeps the dream alive another thing most side hustles you cannot work when you want to work one of the biggest lies that most of them tell uh, years ago I was driving for uber and I quickly found out that I had to wake up at four o'clock in the morning and drive four to ten to make some money that if I came out after ten I could be out from ten to five p.m. and it would pick up again around five p.m. I wouldn't really make no money I'm talking about literally maybe 15, 20 bucks. But if I woke up at 4 a.m. and went hard from 10, I would make two to 300 bucks. Why? I had to drive when people needed services. And this is one of the biggest, you can work when you wanna work, you can work from home. Now, there are many side hustles that you can work from home, which brings up another issue. The pandemic exposed a lot of people don't have very good work from home habits. So if you're trying to do your side hustle on the television with your laptop in your lap, with your dog to the side, and you're watching your favorite television show, uh, your productivity is going to be crap. Your productivity is going to be crap. And also, uh, I've seen some people talk about these side hustles where you can teach English to Chinese students and a lot of people who are doing it are saying that ain't necessarily true. They're actually in the comments like that ain't gonna work. They changed their payment structure. And this 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 is so frustrating because people are wasting time. And they're not wasting just a little bit of time, they're wasting a lot of time. They're wasting a ton of time. They're wasting so much time watching these side hustle videos and listening to all of this useless advice. It's 100% useless. You know, um, it, it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny. 
and I will be, you know, I'm cool with being the hater. I'm cool with being the old man in the room because I know better. I actually know how to make money online. I make money online every day. I make money online every day, and I'm telling you, it is not simple. It is not quick. It is not easy. In the beginning, you're going to work really, really hard. In the beginning, you're going to work so hard. Um, and also, back to this YouTuber, she has a drop shipping store. She makes more money teaching people how to do drop shipping than she actually does from drop shipping. Uh, there was a guy years ago, I don't know if he still has a YouTube channel, Derek Struggle. You can Google it. Derek Struggle. He was doing Amazon FBA. And he was doing these Amazon FBA videos. They were blowing up. He was doing really, really well with them. And then when he launched his course, that's when he got a Lambo. He did not get a Lambo before he launched his course. He got the Lambo after he launched his course. You want to know why? Because he was making more money selling that course than he was from Amazon FBA. That's why. And this, this is a common recipe because uh, th this is one of the reasons there is so much backlash between against online courses. Uh, there's a ton of backlash. There's a ton of um, hate because people have started to figure out that you're making more money from that online course than you are from actually doing what you said in the online course. And a lot of people are becoming resentful. They're becoming uh, belligerent. Um, and, you know, it's kind of funny. This is one of the reasons that I've started this car business to prove that I can start a business off of the internet because the car business has nothing to do with the YouTube channel. It has nothing to do with anything that I'm already doing. The car business is a completely brand new business that I know nothing about. Well, I didn't know anything. I'm learning every day and I'm gonna start selling cars. So I'm gonna establish a multi-million dollar business off of YouTube to prove to you clowns, well, he may have a fleet of cars. I took a picture with the cars in my driveway and I still have moist, wet, wimpy ass haters who, and let, let, let's, let's have this conversation. I totally get that your mother and father did not tell you you were special. I totally get that you were raised in an environment that did not celebrate you, that you were raised in an environment that did not liberate you. You were raised by wolves. You were raised in a very rough manner, right? And... I understand that you don't believe in yourself. You have no thoughts in yourself and the, the lack of belief in yourself expands to other people. Let me go ahead and tell you something to your, your monkey face. We are not the same. I believe in myself. I will take action upon my beliefs and you are going to sit and keep watching and keep hating because I got some of you I've had to block from both channels because you're running over there to hate. True hate, not me educating people. Because uh, when I see someone who makes a video talking about affiliate marketing is easy and simple, I know the minute that they say those words, they're 100% consciously lying to you. Consciously lying to you. And uh, I'm going to start doing some expose reviews on some of the, because there, there's so much crap in the personal finance space. It's beyond ridiculous. It is beyond ridiculous because uh, I'm going to do a video uh, probably on this YouTuber, call it something exposed because uh, Graham Stephan, meet Kevin, Andre Jack, all of these guys have built their channels on hype. Andre Jack has done a 380, a 160. He's, you know, he built his channel 
on dividend stock portfolio. And now he's not investing in dividend stock. And he's like, hey, it's still a good thing. I'm not doing it. Come on. Someone trying to sell you something and they will tell you, well, I'm not doing it, but you should. You should continue to listen to my advice, even though I'm not. That, that's full of crap. That's full of crap. And I, I see this in the YouTube personal finance space all, every day, all day, every day long, all day long. And I'm, I'm probably going to start attacking it and I'll be known as the hater because I'm going to start peeing on your dreams. You know, I realize what I'm doing. I realize why I have so much hate because when I, your, your, your daddy tells you that ain't going to work and this is why, and I show you from a fact standpoint, you're, you're just like, you're pissing on my dreams, man. You're pissing on my dreams. How dare you piss on my dreams? How dare you piss on my dreams? Stop pissing on my dreams. Let me hold this fantasy. Let me hold this fantasy that I'm going to make. I'm going to deploy a little bit of money or I'm going to deploy a little bit of effort and I'm going to make a lot of money. Let me hold on to this fantasy because this fantasy keeps me warm and cozy at night. So what if my real life is a dumpster fire? So what if I can't pay my bills? So what if I can't pay my mortgage? So what if I'm behind on my car payment? So what if I'm behind on my child support? So what? Let me hold on to this fantasy. Let me hold on to this fantasy, man. Let me hold some, man. Let me hold on to let me hold on to this false belief that I can do a little bit of effort or deploy a little bit of money and at the end I can get a big return. Please let me hold on. Kiss my ass. If me is creating this information is creating is causing you to think I don't really care if you hate me. Because I'm causing you to think. Because following all of these easy, simple side hustles, these scams from these people who are trying to be, oh, so helpful. Oh, they're trying to be so helpful. Forget the fact that they're getting a big, fat YouTube check. Forget that. Throw that out. Throw, throw that out. That's why they're making these videos. That's why they're not making them to help you. They're making them to help themselves. And it, it, it gets to be so crazy when I see someone. Um, goes ahead and they get involved in this without a firm understanding of how to make money online, without a firm foundation, and they don't really care about building a foundation. Just show me the easiest, the fastest way to make a lot of money without a lot of effort. That's it in a nutshell. And I'm going to be pissing all day on your dreams. I'm going to be pissing a lot of folks off because during my um, little breaky break or subpar break, I made a decision. I'm about to go hard in the paint. I'm about to go hard in the paint. I'm going to be talking about people and exposing them for the conscious. See, it would be one thing if they put this information out and they did not know what they were talking. If they if they didn't, if they did it and it was a mistake. This chick who talk about she knows for a fact that what she's saying isn't going to work for most people. She's consciously putting out misinformation to get views. She's consciously doing that. And I, I have a problem with anyone that puts out a video that is BS to get views and not actually be of help to people. I have a problem with anyone who does that crap. Because that's something I don't do. And I feel that YouTube would be much better off if people did not do that crap. But you have so many people who are into this um, 
space, they're into this whole um, make money on YouTube. The personal finance niche is the highest paying niche. This is why Graham Stefan, this is why Meet Kevin, this is why Andre Jack, uh, uh, your financial education, they make so much money because the ads that are placed, like my channel, Savage Finance, is really small. I got 37,000 subscribers. I made $4,000 last month from that channel. $4,000. I made more money from that channel that I probably put 10 hours of work in than the average American makes working a 40 hour per week job. And I made 2,000, 2,100 on this one. So I made um, $6,100 doing YouTube. And these are not really big channels and I don't have any channels, I don't have any videos going viral. I made 6K annualized, that's $72,000 a year. That's more than 75% of Americans make. And these people are consciously putting up stupid thumbnails. Uh, I like. I really love the comments that were posted on the Andre Jack video while he stopped dividend investing. And they were like, really like, it's really hard to find a YouTuber who will stay true to their roots. Very, very hard. So go ahead hate me, leave all your moist comments. Uh, don't believe I have a fleet of cars. I actually bought another one, paid cash. There, there's a receipt on the community section. And I am just going to go harder, put my foot in it. And my goal is to intentionally piss you off. You know, I was just doing what I was doing and a lot of, I got a lot of hate in it. Oh, I'm about to put my foot in it. I'm about to put my foot in it. I want to piss you off. I want you cussing me out. I want you throwing stuff at your computer screen or at your phone. I want you to be pissed off. And that's the way we're going to go because we got an agenda now. This is the money lab. We're going to be running experiments. We're going to be talking about other YouTubers who are full of crap. You want to know how I can know? Because I have made millions of dollars online. I know how to make money online. And a lot of the crap they're telling you ain't going to work. It's not going to work. So I can come at it and I, I might start a series, Millionaire Reviews Other Millionaire, and calls them on their BS. There's someone that made the video that you could buy a supercar for $48,000. 100% BS. You can't. You can go with an 850 credit score and a $50,000 a year salary, and you're not going to be able to drive out there without that six-figure car. It, they ain't going to do it. And once again, um, I was just doing what I was doing. Now, I got an agenda. My agenda is to piss off as many people as possible. Might as well have some fun with it. So stay tuned. Be ready. We're about to have some fun.